In this video, we're going to compare a timesheet that you could create on your own in a spreadsheet against our timesheet, which is standard time. I've seen a lot of these kind of templates. Um, they all typically look the same, um, not always arranged the same, but typically you do have a list of projects somewhere, and then you'll have a list of employees, um, or you'll have one of these spreadsheets for each employee. Uh, but typically you want um, you know one that consolidates all of them and you'll have templates like this um, and in the middle here you'll have areas where the employees would presumably type their hours in and then have some totals somewhere again they don't always look the same uh, and it's pretty easy to put these totals in you just type in a formula something like this and with that, then we get to see the totals there. Um, so these are pretty quick and easy to create initially, but you soon run into a series of problems. And I talked to enough people that I started to hear the same kinds of problems. Um, one of the uh, issues is of, of sharing. Let's say Ashley opens this up to type in some hours, and if she happens to leave it open, Bill can't get to it. Uh, she have to go and and work out those sharing issues. Um, another issue that I've heard is um, the issue of lost hours. You think, well, how does that happen? The spreadsheet doesn't you know, change their numbers. Um, it happens a number of different ways, but uh, here's one. Um, let's say uh, Ashley goes and types some hours into the timesheet, but uh, the bookkeeper has already taken those hours or this time period and build them to the client. So the new hours that Ashley typed in will never get billed uh, because the bookkeeper doesn't know about them and Ashley doesn't know that this time period has already been billed. So you have to work all that communication out and often that does not happen so you lose a few hours here and there and no one notices. So those few hours that you lose on a spreadsheet solution like this you can make up easily by just using a professional timesheet like standard time. So I'm going to switch over to standard time, give you a look at that. Um, it also has this same kind of uh, spreadsheet look. You've got your projects on the left hand side, Monday through Sunday along the top. In this case we're logged in as a user. Um, so each user logs in, they see only see their own, own time. Of course administrators and managers can see everyone's time. But you see the hours uh, listed here. There's daily totals, weekly total. There'll be overtime, other kinds of totals down here. If you have pay periods, um, you will see them listed there as well. So different kind of totals that just automatically come with the product. Um, let's switch back to the timesheet. Uh, another thing about um, these kind of roll your own timesheets is that that's all you get. I mean, that's really all this is. It's just a kind of summary uh, uh, of the hours that people have worked. Um, going back to standard time, if you look at the tabs along the top here, you see that there's six different areas. So what if you wanted to have some tasks? Break a project down into some tasks. What if you wanted expense tracking or integrated billing so that your timesheet is integrated directly with the billing? Well, we talked about losing hours. Well, there's ways around that. We've been in the business long enough that we've worked through these issues. Um, what if you wanted time off accrual for vacation, sick, personal, and so on? Maybe you want to go over here and look at uh, things like project revenue. See how much your projects are going to make in the coming months. Um, that's something you don't get with a spreadsheet. Or, let's say you want to see employee availability. Look down through and look at it October, we see that this person is not allocated and they need some work. Um, when you're dealing with a spreadsheet, really you just have a simple, um, you know, totals for your hours and it's so easy to uh, lose track of things that um, you'll end up actually losing money and not really realizing it. Um, there's a lot of programming that goes into trying to get the kind of numbers that you want. Let's say you wanted to know what your effective billing rates was. Uh, you could use utilization rate report here. Uh, I'm going to just look at uh, last month for this person. You see that 
the effective billing rate is $132 an hour. Now you can get that with a spreadsheet, but you have to go through certain formulas to get it. So these are some of the advantages of using a professional timesheet like Standard Time. So go out on the web, look us up, and um, download a copy, and you'll see that um, a lot of these just these issues just come naturally and easily, and uh, it's a lot actually simpler solution than using an Excel spreadsheet.